get shot. It's great. Today is the king's birthday, and they've combined that with a celebration around the arrival of the black neck cranes. And it's become this festival, which clearly everyone gets really into. For the people of Bhutan, the arrival of the black neck cranes is an auspicious occasion. These dances celebrate the safe arrival of the cranes after their migration from the high Himalayas to the marshes of the Fobjika Valley. When you get your eye in around the valley, there are loads of little white dots. When you get your binoculars out, you see something really special. Although they're called the black-necked crane, when you get a little bit closer, you can see that they have a bright red cap, a flash of red on their head. It's really dramatic, and the way they strut around in the marshes with their long legs and long neck, they're so elegant. They're kind of like feathered supermodels. Oh, there's some taking off now. Huge, broad wingspan, really useful for a bird that covers enormous distances and migration every year. Buddhist culture here means that these vulnerable birds are protected and revered. People of Bhutan strike me as being incredibly positive. They're always looking for positive symbols, for, for icons that give them a sense that good times are ahead. And you couldn't get a more impressive icon than this, the black neck crane. It's a bird that lives for a very long time, so it's become associated with longevity, with long life. And also as they arrive just after the harvest, they become associated with prosperity and good times. Bhutan's incredibly progressive when it comes to the environment. So the protection of these birds is enshrined in law. When they finally brought electricity to the valley, they buried all the wires underneath the ground so that the birds couldn't get caught as they came into land. This respect for the natural world is at the heart of Bhutanese life. In this tiny Himalayan kingdom, prosperity is measured by happiness, not by wealth. There are lessons that you learn here in Bhutan that just kind of make you think that we've got it all wrong. Just the way that they sense here more on family and togetherness and friendship and on preserving the world that they completely rely on. It's about harmony with the environment above all other things. Places like this give us hope. They show us the way, they show us that there is a potential future for wildlife, for the environment, and it can be done in a way that suits everyone. <laughs>